feel like I just ate Cheetos. That's the lipstick look I have going on right now. Hey guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another one of my collection videos. So basically I go through every single product I have in a certain category and swatch them for you. Give my thoughts on them if I have thoughts. Some of these are newer products so I haven't quite formed a full opinion. And today we're doing blush. So I am a huge fan of blush as you probably know. I was trying to figure out which type of collection video I wanted to film today and I asked my friend Dana and she's like do blush because nobody talks about blush near as much as they used to and I was like that is so right. It's so true. You know what I'm saying? So today I'm just going to be sharing with you like blushes that I have in like single pan form, not blush palettes. I'm going to save those for a different video, but I have quite a few single pan form blushes. I have powder and cream and even liquid. Let's just get into this video. So I think I'm going to try and go powder, cream, powder, cream. We'll see how that works out. First one I have here is actually Benefit Coralista. This is in the little tropic coral set that you used to sell from Benefit. I don't think they still have this, but I love this blush. It is just so beautiful. It's a really natural glow from within kind of coral color and the formula of Benefit Box powders is so pigmented but still very blendable and this one I find is like the perfect amount of pigment where it looks really beautiful and natural on your skin but it still offers a little bit of a punch of color, you know what I'm saying? It also smells really, really nice. So, huge fan of Benefit Coralista. Next up, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in the shade Pinched. Now, these came out like a while ago. <laughs> I love this one. It's a beautiful, light, peachy pink kind of color. It's very, very, very natural. I would definitely say this is probably only good for people with fair to light skin because it's just not going to show up enough color payoff on any other darker skin tone, unfortunately. And these blushes are almost like a mousse cream hybrid. Like, they're not super sticky, but they're the same same time they don't dry down to a complete powder finish. They're really, really nice and I would definitely recommend this one. Next up I have an oldie but a goodie. This is by Rimmel. This is the Lasting Finish Blush in the shade Pink Sorbet. I've had this for so long. It's probably not sanitary anymore, but I love the color so much. It's a beautiful mid-tone pink color. It also has this really pretty nice subtle glow to it, which I love. And it's just a great everyday beginner blush. I really love this color and the formula is absolutely beautiful. Next up, I have the Tarte Exposed Cheek Stain. You guys know how much I love this. I recently talked about this in my July Favorites video. It's just the most beautiful, mauvey, glowy, natural, color. It also just smells really nice too. These are great as well for long wearing makeup because once you put them on, they're on for pretty much the entire day. I mean the glow factor might go down a little bit because they're no longer tacky, but the color payoff still stays on your cheeks, which is amazing. I'm very sorry if the camera has shifted in any way. I heard a noise and I had to go check it out. Turned out it was actually outside, it's coming in one of the windows, but I had to make sure the dog sibling is okay. You know what I'm saying? Next blush I have here is by Hikari. This is the shade Tango. And this is very, very bright. Like, it makes my lipstick look... Well, actually, that's the lie. It doesn't make my lipstick look that dull, does it? Um, it's almost like a flamingo pink. That's kind of what I would describe it as. Honestly, don't really wear this one very much because it is so pigmented. And this is a little bit patchy. Like, I can't use a stippling brush with it or else it will be patchy on my skin that kind of thing. It's okay, but honestly, compared to other blushes that I have in my collection, I don't really reach for this very much. So that's my thoughts on that. Next up, I have the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in the shade Golden. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my old faithfuls. It's the best everyday nude blush that still gives you a little bit of a you know, slight color to your face, but doesn't take away from your lips or your eyes. It's really great kind of like pairing product, I guess you could say. The formula of these is a little bit more sticky. I know that sounds absolutely disgusting, but it actually works really well on my skin because it stays on my cheeks for a long time. It also blends really nicely and it gives you a beautiful glow. Next up, I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Celebrated. I love this blush. First of all, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Other than that though, the color is another one of those great pairing blushes because it's a very pale peach color. So it still gives you a little bit of something, but nothing like a bright pink or a coral or anything like that would do. And it's actually a matte finish as well. So I love it. it stays on my cheeks for a really long amount of time. Tarte blushes are just amazing. Next up, I have one of the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelées. This is in the shade Poppy Paradise. This is a really beautiful flush your cheeks. It's almost like a coral poppy color and it gives you a really nice glow as well. And 
Also what I love about these is it's almost like a jelly texture to it and it just feels really cooling and nice in your skin. Next up I have this blush by Model Co. This is in the color Peach Bellini and this is a really beautiful peach color. It has this really pretty like gold reflect in it. It's really nice soft texture as well. It blends really nice on the skin. It is very very bright though so it's more of a statement but I still really like it and I mean I just showed another statement blush like Sometimes you gotta give the blush a little bit of a moment, you know what I'm saying? Next up, I have the Benefit Fine 1 1, and I love this one as well. Definitely also talked about this in my recent favorites video. It's a really cool idea of a product. I've never really seen anybody else do a product like this, where it has like a highlight in the top, and then two kind of blush colors. You're supposed to apply it and blend it out, and you're good to go. I still like to put a highlight on top, because I'm a little extra. It's a really easy product to blend. I like it a lot, and I think the color is really beautiful. Next up, I have the Benefit Rockature Box Powder. I love this color so so much. It's just a beautiful mauvey glowy pink kind of color. It's again another one of those great pairing blushes. I just love it so so much and the smell is so nice. I can't get enough of Benefit Box Powders. They're probably my top fave. One of my top faves. I guess I can't really say that but I love this one. Next up I have another one of the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blushes. This one's in the shade Coral Reef and wait till you see this okay. Holy crap, it is literally my lipstick color. And being real with you, I used this hardcore for an entire summer a couple of years back. I haven't really used it that much since. Scares me just a little bit. But since the form is a little bit more moussey, it doesn't, you know, get as crazy as quickly as say like a pure liquid or a more tacky liquid, you know what I'm trying to say? So it actually is a decently wearable blush if you just put a little bit on. Next up, I have MAC's Melba blush. This is the only MAC blush I've ever owned, but I'm in love with it. I just, oh. It's a beautiful matte peach color. It doesn't look crazy in the pan, but when you swatch it, there's so much pigment and color. It blends really nicely, but it still just stays in place as well, and I just... I really love this blush. I really need to get more MAC blushes. They're really amazing quality. Next up, I have the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in the shade Glow. And this is very, very pigmented. It's like a nice middle of the road kind of pink color. It's very, very intense. Let's just put it that way. I only use a very small amount of this, but I love the color it gives and I love the glow it gives my skin. I really enjoy this blush and I would definitely recommend it. Next up, I have the Tarte Exposed Amazonian Clay Blush. Oh my gosh, this is a holy grail for me. It's a beautiful mauve color. It stays in place the entire day. It's just a beautiful situation to blush. The only thing about Tarte blushes I will say is swatching very rarely does them justice. So you really just have to apply it on your cheeks and you'll see the magic that there is within this pan, but I love it. Next up I have this Be A Bombshell, the one stick in the color Girl Crush. Really not a huge fan of this. There is so much glitter chunkage in here. I really just say chunkage. It is a nice like light pink, but if there's so much glitter in it, it's just not the bomb. Next up, I have this Pixie by Petra Beauty Blush Duo in the color Rose Gold. I love this. This is a beautiful highlight and blush duo. It's just like a nice middle of the road pink color. And then the highlight's like a really nice white gold. It actually blends out really nicely on my cheeks. And what I like about it too is the pan sizes are big enough that I can actually fit a blush brush in here, or at least part of a blush blush brush in here. So I really like this. I would definitely recommend it. Next up, I have the Benefit Majorette Cream to Powder Blush. This is beautiful. It is, oh, just such a gorgeous coral. It blends nicely, but then it dries down into a powder and it's in place the entire day. I love it. It gives you, again, a beautiful flush, you know, corally look, which, you know, I love. And it also smells really nice like oranges. Next up, I have this City Color B Matte Blush in the color Fresh Melon. This is a beautiful, hot, pink coral color. Holy crap, it's very intense. You literally need like a tiny tap from your brush and you're pretty much good for both sides of your face. Let's just put it that way. I really like this color. I don't use it quite as much as I probably should because I'm a little bit scared of it. I'm not gonna lie to you but it is a beautiful formula. It is very matte, it blends nicely. Next up, I have the Revlon Baby Stick, and this is in the color Tahitian. I am the only person in the history of YouTube who I think actually likes this. You know what, I understand why people don't like this because it doesn't have a lot of color payoff. It's pretty sheer, but it's a great glue stick for powder blushes. Like, whenever I put this on before a powder one, it stays 
way, way longer than it would have if I just put powder on, which I think is amazing. Next up, I have this NYX High Definition Blush in the shade Soft Spoken. This is the one that actually cracked in shipment when I ordered from NYX, and so I put it back together. But it is a beautiful, beautiful color, so I can, you know, get around the fact that I had to glue this all back together. It's a really nice, light peach color. It's very glowy. It blends really nicely. You know, looking at this in the pan, I'm like, how is that actually going to show up on anybody's skin tone? But I'm actually really impressed by this color, so I think it's a great everyday blush. I also have another one of the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelés. This is in the color Pink Escape. It is a beautiful berry pink color. I love it. It just looks like you're naturally happy and blushing and just like you came from the cold, even though it's the middle of summer, you know? I really like it. Next we have a cult classic, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. It's a beautiful glowy coral color. Now, I originally thought this was a complete dupe for the Benefit Coralista blush. I'm definitely wrong on that. They're very different tones of coral. But I mean, if you're not a makeup addict, you're probably okay with just having one of these. Next, I have a newer product. This is the Benefit Dandelion Dew. And this is a really interesting blush. It is a completely cream, liquid, mousse mixture situation. I really like this. It is a true baby pink color, though. It's not like that Oh, sheer light, no. Like, it shows up on my skin, which I do like. It actually blends really nicely as well. It's just really hard not to go heavy hand with it because, you know, you pump out a certain amount and you're like, that must be enough. And you put on way, way too much, you know? But I really do like it. I love the packaging. I think it's beautiful. And it really makes me want to try the actual dandelion box powder. It's on my bucket list. But yeah, I really like this. Next up, I have my last Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is the color Captivating. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. I've only worn this like twice. So I can't really give you my full opinion on it because it is so, so bright and pigmented. I can only wear it with certain makeup looks. It's a really pretty color. It's just not quite as wearable as say like Exposed or, you know, Celebrated are. This has a mind of its own and it needs a center stage spotlight. You know what I'm saying? The last cream blush I'm gonna mention today is by NYX. Again, it's another one of their Rouge Cream Blushes. This is the color Tickled. It has a beautiful gold shimmer running through it, but nothing too crazy like glitter or anything. It blends beautifully. It is super pigmented. I really like this one. We only have two more left, I'm promising you. <laughs> this is the Benefit Sugar Bomb Box Powder. This, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated blushes in the history of blush, okay? I'm wearing it on my skin today. It's just a really nice, like, peachy, light coral kind of color. The glow is just beautiful. I'm wearing a highlight on top, but like it just gives you a really nice lit from within kind of look and it has like a little bit of a gold sheen to it. Again, the smell is so good. Like what is it with benefits and you know making their powders smell so amazing? I don't get it, but it's really, really great. So I'm a huge fan. So the last blush we have today is actually one that I'm still trying to form my opinion properly. This is the NYX Ombre Blush in the shade Strictly Chic. This is a really interesting concept because it has like a lighter color at the top and like a serious bright color on the bottom. I've only used this once because it is again a very bright blush, but I'll get back to you on this. The first time I did try it out, I did like the way it looked, but I'm not gonna say it's my full opinion because you gotta give it a little bit longer. But yeah, so that completes this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know in the comments what makeup collection you want to see coming up next. I have lip gloss, I have face palettes, I have concealer, I have foundation, I have liquid lipstick. The opportunities are endless. I've already done my bronzer slash contour collection, my highlight collection, my face primer collection, my eyeshadow palette collection, my lipstick collection. I'll link all those in the description box in case you want to go and check them out for yourself. But yeah, I love you guys so much. If you do want to follow me on social media, I have Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links are in the description box. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye.